Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of Legendary Difficulty with a attack strength 19. Fort Artemis is under attack and we can't let Fort Artemis fall, can we? Uh, there are quite a few resources on the line which we are grabbing. It's team number three. The... Uh, Charlie team, Kenai and Co, Carl Kenai, Incivinci and Co. Now let's take a good look what these guys need in order to be successful. We got some extra spare points here. I think we could, with Steven, invest a bit into speed. Uh, he does have willpower. But he doesn't have an activatable ability. He's actually just more regenerating it for others. Heavy weapons. Yeah. Hmm. Doesn't need more strength. We're good. So I think we'll go for speed. Not enough points here. Equipment looks decent. I remember we wanted to add neuralizers to these guys. Good, Karl Kenai does have the right tools. I think close quarter evade would be very helpful for him. A little bit more speed and a little bit more willpower, of course, wouldn't be bad either. I mean, we could go for double willpower increase or we're going for some close quarter evade. I think given the situation that we're in with Adrenaline Rush, uh, double willpower is the better choice. Incy Vinci, lots of points. We're going with Inspire because it's such a nice ability. Unfortunately, we also need her to kill enemies. So the question of the day will be, how do we go about that? By the way, the ancient weapons are here. Yes, so the prime team is going to take them soon. She does have the Inceptor, which is a good uh, machine gun, but she also does have a Sanctifier, which is a great gun to remove armor from the target. We got Silent Toes Browns, who could go into Mind Sense, not really necessary. Hit points, good enough. I think uh, we're going to increase movement because he's the only one who's not frenzied. Uh, we're saving for quick aim here, I remember that. Equipment also looks fine. Has a lot of opportunities. Many good items. But I think we're okay with uh, just the spider drones for now. Double tap Russell. I think weak spot is a no-brainer here. It's just great to get rid of the armor. And Vanessa was kind of that in-betweener. Gives everyone extra willpower and we could use induced panic or we could use mind control both of which are good i think we're starting with inducing panic and now that everybody has had their chance we could use by the way a neuralizer here as well so I wonder if we're just getting completely rid of uh, the crossbow and instead are taking the neuralizer. But we are a sniper, so mm, it's better to have a neuralizing handgun and we don't have the funds to do that yet. And I think the spare neuralizer is for team number two um, because uh, one Neuralizer of team number one was destroyed, then I needed to hand them over, so logistics, logistics. Let's go. Idea is we're going to defend and hopefully we're going to also 
capture a few aliens for food. Good, we landed. Oh, nice. We have a technician. I immediately spotted them out. A couple of civilians and we have a Skrilla. What are we dealing with? No, it is the snout of doom. The dazing snout. Oh, you gotta hate, hate it just so much. Doesn't even have a spawnery, so can't really hope for will point damage. And he has melee attacks. It's potentially the worst combination of all Skrillers that could exist. It's the Skrilla of Doom. Well. Losers complain, winners train. As they say, we have to beat him. In Civinci. Jumps up and gets this guy here. Can deploy turrets. Mm. Are we going to stay up? Potentially not. Here I come. We're going down. What is this here? Oh. Ah, it's that VD, um, VDW Enforcer. We're going to check if if whatever is in here is friendly or hostile. We can check it actually. It seems friendly because there are no valid targets for War Scream. Asian cow moves up. And let's use our scouts. Moving up under Phoenix control. Very good. Which means this civilian here can scout the very corners. Uh, that seems to be clear. Aliens are likely coming from here. The only question is are they also behind that, that building? But we're going to find it out in a second. Before we do, though, I would like the other civilians to move up. As per the usual, these are going to be our living scouts. I can make a difference. I can tell you the concept of making civilians that expandable is not a good de uh, game design there is not enough downside for just using them as scouts I'm and meat shields i like the idea that you can bring them under your control but there should be a massive incentive for keeping them alive much more than we currently have I think it's more a question. Uh, it's more a problem of the incentive of keeping them alive is not strong enough. Good. Steven puts himself into a decent position. We wanted to move up anyways. Moving up here. looks like we're going to lose all three of the spiders again okay better be safe than sorry I'm here uh, 
Uh, I think we all just want to stay together. That allows us to regain enough will points and gives us a good opportunity to engage. Which is why we're just clustering. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. I just remembered we're fighting against the Skrill of Doom. We do not want to cluster up. We want to do the exact opposite. Unfortunately, this stupid scream is not blocked by walls. I think that would be a reasonable uh, proposal, just yeah, blocking it by walls. Throwing the turret over here. do have My turn. a lot of operatives all of the civilians three spiders two other operatives and the turrets on top of that let me see okay new jericho assault we're aiming for the head And starting to slowly but surely bring down the armor. So everybody here gets willpower back. That's cool. I like it. Vanessa potentially could move just a bit closer to the rest because we are regaining willpower with them. We're inherently incentivized to stay together. What I really need to do is just kill the head. Okay, I think that's four dazes against our characters. Could be worse. Definitely could be better as well. He's moving in and he's like, OMG, what am I running into? I can tell you that, my friend. There's another one over here. The good news is we can get rid of some of uh, the smoke by just letting the spider drones explode. Oh. The bad news is this guy has a paralyzation weapon. Hate it. Oh, we have two snipers. Oh my lord. Waiting. Okay. Well, we got to deal with the snipers. More Pandorans. Oh, Jesus. I was about to say, that's a lot of enemies here. We're moving up. Kyle Kenai. I'm here. Repairing the head. 
and completely healing you up. Let's show them what we can do. Kyle moves into a safe spot. Lining up a shot. The front lines are relatively clear now. Preparing to fire. Steel on target. Just need to regain the willpower. For now, we're fine. Okay, that takes one of them completely out. <laughs> Can't shoot around the corner. Well, barely. We could barely try to hit it. Move up so that we can offer support. I think it would be fair to say. But this guy, specifically with his shield, is an annoyance. Repositioning. Move up. And let's get the shield down. Be right there. Then we're moving back. I'm and healing our front line. Yeah, we can't really move away from there all too much. Everybody gets some willpower back, which is helpful. Move up and we're hitting one, two, three. That guy potentially not yet, but we're going to be okay. Moving a tiny bit further back, uh, just in case if the Skrilla moves in, I don't want to be hit by it. Okay, more enemies. I'm aiming for the snipers. Because uh, these guys are the bane of our existence. on the move okay how about yeah. making sure that we got that d uh, guy down we're at what 100 hit points he still has 
too much uh, willpower, so that's unfortunately not going to move up, uh, work out for us. Stephen moves into full cover over here, still providing the nice uh, regeneration aura for everyone. Ready to go to work. I can make a difference. I think we actually went th through the entirety of our team. Let's overwatch here. And the civilians are moving up. Trying to get, uh, cluster them up a bit so that the Skrilla theoretically has a motivation to move there as well. Uh, how about we are moving the civilian? Two over here. More overwatching, and I think we're done. Quite intense engagement, as I, as I can see. So this is a explosive. We're not far away from one another. Type of engagement. Definitely need to get that stupid uh, head down. And the enemy either takes care of all of uh, the spiders or will regret it very, very soon. Yeah, one hit for one of the spiders. They are trying. Oh, this here is a wonderful cluster. The spiders will love it next turn. Thank you guys for clustering up. That's exactly what was needed. Oh. And as long as the civilians are taking the paralysis shots, I'm good. That sucks because we've just lost an, a very important turret. We still have a second one, Here. but that to fire. very much sucked. Okay, a couple of things. Number one. Double tap still only has so little movement. He's down to two actions. I don't know why. We did not war scream him. Nothing negative happened. Uh, we definitely ta need to take care of uh, th this guy there. Steven moves over. And takes care of business, finally. I'm here.
All right, NC moves up. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Oh, that would be a good hit. Big fat war cry. Love it. And whilst we're at it. We're go uh, it's hit and run in and out. them are trying to get away is really working but let's see if we can scout them out fog is going away thanks to our spiders there we go so next up Could hit the heavy leg of the Skrilla, and that's about it. Okay, we're going to take over one of uh, these spiders. Civilian away. Thank you. And then let's remove the fog and also show where he is at. Can we hit him? Inside. One. Not sure if this will work out for us. Two. Come on, what the hell? Oh, we only had two shots. Okay, well. Again, not sure if this is going to work out. could play some fire to here that would definitely hurt a lot can't really hit uh, over there not yet but we could panic this guy 
and we could give over actions to someone else uh, who would be a good recipient for that I mean, look. In terms of shooting, yes, we could kill him. But we could also overwatch and then he would automatically die. This guy here could die. That's actually not a bad idea. We're not saving this Triton. So before we're getting paralyzed again. By the way, now I also remember why we only have two actions. So our sniper took a paralysis shot. That makes oh, an awful lot of sense. Okay, that's a kill. Yep, disabled the hatch. Full kill. There are still snipers back here, so we can't just move in. Asian cow begins to move. And kills that guy. The other one is heavily injured as well. Civilians are moving up and I still hope that these here offer a good enough cluster for Scream. Let's do this and that. Continuing to he hit the smasher. And we're done. So far, we have captured two. Oh, this guy is going to reanimate. Not cool. Okay, so moving. Kai moves up. <laughs> Preparing to fire. Let's start working 
with this one, uh, with the turret here. Unfortunately, that did not work out. I'll give it another try. I was hoping just for a couple of hits. Didn't need to be too many, but a few. Putting the spider here as an option for him to attack, because that guy will be coming back very soon. I can make a difference. And we're countering him with a lot of overwatches. Yeah. That. Let's go. Moving back. Overwatch. <laughs> We have a kill and someone who's very close to be killed as well. Everybody also needs to be frenzied. That stupid mist. Ready to go to work. <laughs> Nothing will get there we can me. this time capture him. Not sure. Moving up, um, yeah, that's a solid hit. War cry, even the remains are war cried. Good, acid should remove armor over time, which is it's exact uh, it's exact uh, reason for existence uh, how about moving up closer Overwatch and we should be good. Civilians will continue to stay here of an alternative cluster of enemies. Let me see. Good, after disabling the arm. I'm repositioning. This guy can only spit. Hmm. Well. I would say we're going over here so that everybody gets a nice uh, willpower, uh, willpower aura. No time to waste. In the meantime, Asian cow moves up. 
We do ha have our neuralizers. Not sure if we can hit anything with it. But I would say, all things considered, we're pretty much in a good shape. End of turn. Let's go, baby. Skrilla somehow magically decided that it is not yet time to attack. I don't mind. One, two, can't uh, reload. Here. Asian cow moves up. Very much hits this guy, and whilst we're at it, since he has a mystery pillar, let's make this happen. Let him continue to hit. We have them nicely under control. Uh, 10 rounds there. This guy is still up for four more rounds. We could use our neuralizers that would be great nothing to be found there either I want the people that can actually neuralize and I'm realizing as so often there are not that many that I actually can it. neuralize so Clearing out more mist. Wrong pistol. Fantastic. Hit the screen. Just a bit off. And we're out of him in it. Operative on the move. Unbelievable. Justin. Takes that, and that, and that. Just to reload the gun. It's not the prime team. I already noticed the little tricks uh, that typically work do not work here. I'm here. Operative on the 
<sighs> we need to get in front of his head. And we need to war scream. My turn. Vanessa moves up. May need to give Incy Vinci the bu uh, the buff as well. Good, we're hitting the Valkyrie abdomen. We're pretty much done. Let's see. The Skrilla has, for the first time in a while, full action points. Still on target. Decides to use them in order to daze a lot of uh, people. Okay, well, that was painful. Uh, oh, by. we're dazed. Well, okay, luckily for us. That doesn't mean that we can't move. Um, one more hit and that guy is done for. Asian cow also moves back. Close one. Vanessa moves in. And we're healing. Okay, cool. Alright, so. First things first. We have full will, po uh, will points over here again. Very good. That helps a ton. Secondly, I would like to still hit your stupid sonic head. There we go. Thirdly, let's get the tail down. And remove some of the smashers as well. It's always turning around so that we can't really see its head. Oh, 
me that's a good indication that the AI knows it's weak uh, at the front side. Give me that. And we can't use any special actions. Can't even overwatch, really. Putting up a civilian cluster. Let's hope the Skrilla shouts at the civilians. Okay, to me it seems as if we have uh, done what we can do. Just need to go to the front and kill the stupid head. Maybe not. Maybe what we need to do is give you screaming at it. There we go. Now he is weak. Arms online. Time for us to finally move in. Everybody's frenzied and let's go. Yeah, pistol. Aiming. One. Two. Preparing to fly. Three. Aiming. Four. Steal the target. Uh, give me that and that. Two. Then we're reloading and overwatching. I'm here. Okay, so we are continuing to move in. One, two, online tell you what uh, we are not able to just hand that over unfortunately give me that Be 
you right there. Moving slightly away. We'll put the New Jericho assault to the front. We'll put the spider drone up also as a bait. And we got a new or additional neuralizer. End of turn. Let's see if we can make that work. So far it seems to be out of power. War cry. And he comes down. And what we're going to do is Asian cow takes that one here. That moves up here so that no one needs to stand in the fog. And I think now it's a matter of can we paralyze it fast enough? Or is it going to bleed out before uh, before that happens? see that we're getting a second Skrilla. It is in the realm of possibilities. End of turn. Very nice. We're going to do this, and now it's really just a matter of getting to that 420 mark fast enough before it bleeds out. Neuralizers, guys, I'm telling you, one of the strongest weapon in the entire game. You wouldn't know it when you're playing it the first time. But due to the mechanic of not allowing enough actions, this guy effectively currently has zero actions and just gets the short end of the stick. The entire time. And there we go. 
captured a Skrilla. Plus all of the civilians are alive. <laughs> that was a good mission. Cool. We got ourselves three, a Skrilla and two Arthrons. Uh, so the reanimated versions, we, we can kill them. We can't keep them. Moderate investment into uh, into filling up our reserves, and we got some nice um, promotions. I'm wondering, psychic ward, or are we saving rather for a second class? I think we're just going for a second class. Steven is doing a good job. I think with a second class he could be even a little bit better. Jim got promoted. Not enough yet for Adrenaline Rush. Oh, that's Tiamat 2. Never mind. Medical 3. No promotion yet. They got a fresh pair of uh, resources here. Manticore 3. Mm. Yeah, I think we wanted to trade into material. And down here, if my memory serves me well, we had... Oh yeah, we were on the way to the Pandoran's Nest. Damn right. Okay. Europe will be attacked, but we're ready. So in five hours, the next mission is due. And if my memory again serves me well... Yeah, we needed to trade down here. Okay, that's already happening. Tiamat 2. 77777. Uh, these are the last two. Oh yeah, they're all, all almost there. And then we can fly around and trade for materials as well. Yeah, the whole trading became so important that it's like one of the main things to do now. We also got the new weapons. They have already been manufactured. And I know we wanted to build something uh, more. Um, could be more research. Just so that we're researching faster. But it was also archaeology labs. Quite a few, actually. We do still have two more in preparation five more six more seven eight nine ten eleven twelve more twelve more in preparation that is 36 might as well go all the way Now we do have a hundred, well, nearly a hundred resources every uh, single tick, whatever a tick is, potentially a day. Good, we want to trade out of food because we already know that we are getting food right here in the containment facility. That's 50, not 75, and a big fat Skrilla. That's the first Skrilla that I ever caught, like the OG Skrilla with the frenzy head and the uh, chompers and 
than a stupid production facility. This is kind of uh, the worst version of it with the scream and so on. So the original one will finally be harvested. You know what? Let's leave the Skrillas uh, there. They are our reserve for rainy day. 500. Sounds good to me. Yeah, all of uh, the personnel here could use a little rest. So where is Manticore 4? There, and then Manticore 8 is there. Uh, say if, let's move both up there. Oh no, wait, uh, this here is quicker. Two, two, uh, two for 12 is not a bad deal, but we're getting food from somewhere else, so... Really the idea is we're focusing on capturing aliens as an extra source. As an extra source of income. And that will increase the overall pool. Clearly I could trade into food as well but then we're stuck with so much food and I even now to this very day I almost feel like we're having too much food. Two for ten is not good enough to trade for it. I will do two for twelve. That's a good trade. We're waiting here until everybody is uh, healed up. Did we not yet have a defense? I think Alaska Snow. Alaska Snow has one. Newfoundland does not have one yet. Now they do. Funnily enough, down here, South America also does not yet have uh, one. So. Uruts are being produced. Putting another one in the queue. I think most of the bases have at least a good ut. Which will help us when we need to defend them. It means you can... If the worst comes to worst, like if we're completely uh, caught off guard, we could recruit like two newbie recruits, maybe even recruit someone in a haven and then just send them automatically into the target location, spawns them there uh, and with uh, two newbies and some decent equipment plus a good hood, I think we're going to be fine. Where is the attack on Europe? What the heck? I prepared an attack. By the way, wait a second. So Celius has two room and we could get the uh, the dilly butt in there. Hmm, that is interesting. Which means these only take two and not three. 
uh, spaces. Not sure if they are good enough for two, but it's, I find it definitely interesting that they only take uh, two instead of three spots. By the way, let's fly down here. I do have an idea what I will do with the team once it is recovered, because we do have this mission here, the Byzantium. And oh, that's the Foxtrot team. Uh -huh. They are not really good. Let's do this mission first. Am I missing something, guys? Uh, I'm afraid of n of not leaving. I don't want to leave this here. But it doesn't seem like we're being attacked. Aliens reach Euro Europe in eight hours and now it's long gone. Curious to see with the uh, new range. Ooh, ooh, we can finally cross the pond. Does that also mean we could? If we were to fly to here, no. You need a tier mat in order to do that, but we can, with 25% reach, finally fly over from here to here. That's awesome. I like it. It will take ages, but it is good that we do have the opportunity, I suppose. Okay. Helios 5 moves there. Well, unexpectedly we have not been attacked. Which is strange if you think about it. How much does it cost to activate the base? Hmm. Don't want to do that yet. I need the. Uh, we're building up some funds, and if we're really rolling a dough, then we can always activate a few more bases. A is under attack. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Finally, some action. Kitsu uh, can't afford that last ability yet. That's the B team, uh, the second team that we originally started with, who are moving out in order to do that mission. Good. Two for ten, not good enough. I'm not going to do that. I'm moving over. Eight for two is good. Good enough to do it. Got a nice little Phoenix Echo base up here. Which would get rid of all of that junk. But there are so many good bases that are still outstanding. The completionist in me wants to get all of the bases. By the way, why did I not finish this trade? Oh. Okay, well... We know what to do. These things need to die. Two for ten, not good enough. Moving down.
Okay. Let's hope we're being in time. I think that's another two for ten, yeah. We could get a lot of uh, food here. Might as well do that. The two for twelve, uh, two for twelve, is actually worthwhile, and we're okay on tech. These guys are going to regenerate, and the moment that we are fine here, we will be able to attack that Pandora nest. Get it down, and then we're flying down here. This is a bit disheartening. Okay, it's just an uneven fight. Um, it looked like the Haven is going to die immediately, but it isn't. And the Mist Repeller is up, which is great. A few more rounds for archaeology. And finally, or that will be the mission uh, that will propel us into the highest diplomatic, uh, diplomatical tier with the Sanhedrin. And afterwards, we even defending one of their havens so that will be great stay tuned as we're doing the last storyline missions uh, to get everybody on our side thanks for watching guys if you want to be on the side of this channel think about doing the little bit of diplomacy tab there is an extra diplomacy window built into youtube you might not be aware of it but there is the option to like it and that over time, we'll give the channel the necessary diplomatic uh, connections that are needed. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.